and a very warm welcome. You're watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Sushan Dhakal. The top stories first. Ori grants amnesty to Madhav Nepal factions. Offers Oli Brandt to maintain party unity. Lawmakers draw government's attention towards contemporary political issues. Urge the government to vaccinate all citizens as soon as possible. Transport entrepreneurs stage protest in the capital. Protesters demand hike in transportation fare. Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccine effectiveness against the Delta variant. New study shows two doses of vaccine are helpful against the new strain. And Tokyo Olympics to kick off later today, Sonia Bhatta to face Russian player in judo event. And now the news in detail. CPNUML Chairman K.P. Sharma Oli has said that the party won't take any action against the leaders from the dissident faction led by senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal. He, however, termed the dissident leaders as those missing their track. Speaking at a program organized to mark the 43rd Memorial Day of Nepal Communist Party's founding General Secretary Pushpalal Shrestha on Thursday, Oli argued that such step was imperative to maintain unity in the party. Oli urged the party leaders to get inspired by Pushpalal and quit their petty interests for posts and positions. Stating that party rules and regulations were violated in different phases, Oli announced to give amnesty to all those who had faced penalty in the past. I am the chief of the party organization, but comrades have conspired a coup against me to oust me from the party chief and even from the general membership, Oli added while urging leaders to avoid splitting the party. Parliamentarians in the National Assembly, the Upper House of Federal Parliament, have urged the government to manage COVID-19 vaccines for all citizens as soon as possible. A report. At the zero hour of the session yesterday, the lawmakers expressed concern over the increasing risks of coronavirus infection as people have started crowding with the easing of the lockdown. They drew the attention of the government for managing vaccines to all at the earliest in such a situation. Uday Sarma Podil said India has adopted greater precaution against COVID-19 at present, whereas people are gathering in crowd in Nepal, which is a matter of great concern. There is no sanitizer kept in the public transport vehicles, she lamented. Jogo Prasad Sarma demanded that the upper house forward the bill related to the civil service as the delay has hampered the functioning of the public service commission. Similarly, Ram Narayan Bidari asked the present government to work in favor of the farmers and the workers. Dr. Bimala Rai Podil called for forwarding the bill related to the citizenship as soon as possible. Similarly, lawmakers Thagindra Prasad Puri, Chakra Prasad Snehi, Kimlal Depkota, Komal Oli, Bhairab Sundar Shrestha, Devendra Dahal and Anita Depkota had put their views on various contemporary issues. Transport entrepreneurs yesterday launched a protest in the capital demanding the adjustment of transportation fare. The transport entrepreneurs staged protest in different parts along the ring road in Kathmandu Valley as part of their protest. They have further demanded to manage anti-COVID-19 vaccines to drivers and helpers of long and short route vehicles as well. They appealed to the federal government to address their genuine demands. Recently, the Department of Transport Management has allowed transport entrepreneurs to hike bus fare on inter-provincial routes by 28%. Similarly, cargo carriers serving in the Tarai and Hills were permitted to hike transport fares by 26 and 20 percent respectively. The protesters have demanded adjustment of transportation fare due to inflation and price hike of petroleum products and vehicle spare parts. They said that the fare was adjusted nine years ago. This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back after the break. We continue with other national news. The government yesterday confirmed 2,714 new cases of coronavirus across the country. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, the new cases were confirmed from 9,122 PCR tests and 3,707 antigen tests conducted in various 
laboratories. Similarly, 1,288 COVID-19 patients recovered from the disease yesterday, taking the number of recovery cases to 637,690. The recovery rate stands at 94.5%. Likewise, 22, 24 people succumbed to the deadly disease yesterday, the ministry said in its routine press briefing. The COVID-19 fatality caseload has now climbed to 9,611. The number of active cases has climbed to 27,375 in the country. Among them, 24,616 are receiving treatment in home isolation, while 2,759 are being treated in institutional isolation facilities across the country. The Kathmandu Valley alone has 7,912 active cases. And now, the news from the economic front. Vishnu Kumar Agrawal has taken charge as the new president of the Confederation of Nepali Nepalese Industries. The 18th annual general meeting of the CNI held on Wednesday chose Agrawal as the new president of the organization. Prior to this, Agrawal was serving as the senior vice president of CNI. The statute of CNI has a provision for the senior vice president to lead the confederation during the next term. Agrawal is a former football player and is currently promoting the Kathmandu Razors football club that won the Nepal Super League 2021. Agrawal, the managing director of MAW Group of Companies, is also the honorary consul general of the Czech Republic to Nepal. The AGM of the Confederation also elected 37 members for its national council. Speaking at the inaugural ceremony, Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deuba pledged to take the private sector into confidence to revive the economy that has been hit hard by the pandemic. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. Welcome back and now the international news. Two doses of Pfizer or AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine are nearly as effective against the highly transmissible Delta variant of the coronavirus as they are against the previously dominant Alpha variant, according to a new study. Research published in the New England Journal of Medicine on Wednesday showed the vaccines were highly effective against the Delta variant, now the dominant strain worldwide provided a person had received two shots. The study confirms headlines, headline fi findings given by Public Health Eng of England in May about the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines made by Pfizer-BioNTech and Oxford-AstraZeneca based on real-world data. Wednesday's study found that Pfizer was 88% effective at preventing symptomatic disease from the Delta variant and with both doses compared with 93.7% against the Alpha variant. Two shots of the AstraZeneca vaccine were 67% effective against the Delta variant, up from 60% originally reported, and 74.5% effective against the Alpha variant, compared with an original estimate of 66% effectiveness. We are, sorry, we are watching Jonathan Bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports. The opening ceremony of Tokyo Olympics is being held today after a delay of one year due to the coronavirus pandemic. Head of states of 15 nations will attend this opening ceremony to be held in the Japanese capital later today. Sports ministers of 70 countries will also attend the ceremony. In the first phase of competition, Nepali player Sonia Bhatta will be competing with a Russian player Dolgova Irina in a judo event on Saturday. As per the tie sheet drawn yesterday, the match between judo player Sonia and Irina has been confirmed for July 23rd. The 19-year-old Sonia will compete under the 48 kg group. She is 127th in the world ranking, while Irina is ranked 9th. The winner of the match would be determined on the same day. 
Sonia has been scheduled in the Olympics through wild card. Sonia had won bronze medal in the 13th South Asian Games organized in Nepal. Meanwhile, the organizing committee of Olympics has sacked the director of the opening ceremony of a Holocaust joke, according to the news published in the international media. We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. Oli grants amnesty to Mabab Nepal faction, offers Oli branch to maintain party unity. Lawmakers draw government's attention towards contemporary political issues, urge the government to vaccinate all citizens as soon as possible. Transport entrepreneurs stage protest in the capital. Protesters demand hike in transportation fare. Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccine effective against Delta variant. New study shows two doses of vaccines are helpful against the new strain. And the Tokyo Olympics to kick off later today, Sonia Bhatta to face a Russian player in a judo event. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamachar.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.